Hello and welcome. Let's talk about hydratis cyst for surgery. Classification of hydratis cyst. It is classified into group 1, group 2 and group 3. Group 1 includes cyst larger than 2 cm and often fertile. Group 2 includes cyst starting to degenerate and entering a transitional stage because of host resistance or treatment but may contain viable protoscolysis. Group 3 includes degenerated, partially or totally calcified cyst unlikely to contain viable protoscolysis. Now, common sites of hydratis cyst. These are the liver, lungs, abdominal cavity, kidneys, CNS and bone with most common site being liver. About 52 to 77 percentage. Complications of hydratis cyst of liver. Anaphylactic shock, rupture, obstetric jaundice, acute cholangitis, infection and calcification. Diagnosis of hydratid disease. Typically in the United Kingdom, the usual sufferer is a sheep farmer. While any organ may be involved, the liver is by far the most commonly affected. Elective clinical presentation is usually in the form of a painful, painful lump arising from the liver and anaphylactic shock due to rupture of the hydratis cyst is the emergency presentation. CT scan is the best imaging modality and the diagnostic features includes space occupying lesion with a smooth muscle outline with septa. Treatment it is ideally managed in a tertiary unit by multidisciplinary team. And the asymptomatic and inactive cysts should, cyst should be left alone. And the active cysts should be first treated by a full course of abendazole. Several procedures like PAIR, pericystectomy with omentoplasty, hepatic segmentectomy, and a laparoscopic approach may be tried. End of the topic.